Hello guys, this is Mohammad Sadiq. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you AJAX in JavaScript. We will use REST API for retrieving a list of countries with their flags and other information. Here we have a final output of the tutorial. We can see we can see the list of dynamic countries and when we click on the country name, you can see the flag. So we are going to learn in in this tutorial how can we do using javascript with the edgex call from rest api before going to start we would like to know about edgex what is edgex an edgex is stands for asynchronous javascript and xml most of students think that edgex is a programming language but that is not true AJAX is a set of web development techniques that are used to request server for exchanging the data. So here in this file, I have already written some steps for giving you a short idea of what we are going to do in this tutorial. Step number one, we will write some HTML code. In step number two, we will show some static list of countries so that later we will replace this list dynamically with the country's information from REST API countries. In the step number three, we will start writing JavaScript code as this in internal script tag declaration. In this tag, we will write our logical code to retrieve the data from API and using the DOM, we will replace this static countries into the dy dynamic list of countries. In the step number four, we will write, you know, AJAX code and will show dynamic list of countries. In the step number five, we will also debug the code to understand the what code doing in the sense of behavior that will definitely help us to fully understand the code. In the step number six, we will try to add a click listener and the country name so that we can add some functionality to it. In the step number seven, enhancing the code of click listener the country name and it is if it is clicked on the country name and then show the flag okay uh, so let's start the code uh, with the step number of one the writing html code So we have this kind of code as HTML we will enhance step by step and then after that uh, I have step number two to show the static list of countries. So here we will add this list of static countries. So here we have the list of uh, countries which is static. Let's see the output uh, on our uh, browser. So here we can see the output. Uh, it is like this is uh, maybe the extra uh, the symbol from where here we can see. Okay, so uh, let's see the output again. Okay, then list of the countries. Now we have to uh, uh go to the another step write the uh, javascript tag and then here uh, after the body tag like we are going to write the script tag here the script tag so in this uh, script tag i have we have to write the javascript uh, code uh, the logical code here then uh, write the ajax code dynamically and, the, and then show the list of uh, uh, countries using the rest api so in this step like uh, we have to write the ajax code for the ajax so we must need an object from that object we can uh, we, we can add the some functionalities like retrieving the data or sending the request to the server okay and we can give also the endpoints where from uh, we can get the list of uh, the countries so for the list of countries we can see uh, any and the API from here, the rest uh, countries API, we can see this uh, first link. 
you can search from Google you must need uh, the internet connection for that now the for all countries we need this uh, URL you can see when I uh, had the get request and I can found the array which is the uh, which has some objects objects for the country now the country name and other uh, information like uh, alpha code and uh, some borders uh, of the countries then you can see the flag also so we will use this uh, endpoint for our uh, the rest api uh, request so as we know uh, as we know that we need an object of uh, the uh, what we can say the xml http request object Okay, this function now uh, we have declared the name object uh, XML HTTP request object, and then we have an event function like re already state change. Uh, this function is every time is called. So here we have just declared an object of exam, uh, XML HTTP request object here. Then after that we have a function uh, on ready step uh, change function which is a event call uh, event based function and we can see the ready state like this is the final state it means uh, something finished and then we have the status code like 200 status code and whenever we have response tags and the response we are going to show on the browser console and here we can see uh, the open like we are get, uh, giving the, uh, the HTTP method, uh, method name which is the get and the endpoint where we will get all the uh, the, uh, the data from that and then uh, here the is, it is end synchronous is the true yeah and then hit the request it so let's see the output of this uh, the program so in this uh, uh, the program we can see into the console here in the console you can find the list of uh, the countries which is the which is we are getting the dynamically it is a it's simple string we are getting a, a response as a, a response text which is a string like Now in this code, uh, we, you can see that we have passed the, uh, the JSON object. So in the index number zero, get the uh, country of the index number zero and the name. Let's see into the console again and uh, we will see the output. Here we can see the Afghanistan is in response. So let's uh, announce like according to our step number two. Uh, it says that write the ajax code then show the dynamic list of countries so, so for the dynamic list of countries we know that this is an array then we need the loop Here you can see that document get element by list here it is the list and uh, which is the html like firstly i am uh, setting it the mpt uh, deleting all the list inside it and then uh, replacing like after that here we are replacing with the list like see here and to the code we can uh, we have the some id issue something 
in the list then here yeah here is the id maybe the id is not id it is i something so for that yeah we can see the last uh, the the country uh, from the list dynamic list so here what is doing it is doing directly replacing each time so here we are uh, uh, you know appending the list uh, with it like here we can see the list of countries from it we can see the list of country which is getting from this end endpoint which is uh, the, the same this one the, actually we are showing with the, these names so in uh, we are now I'm done with the, the dynamic list of uh, countries and the debug code okay like debug code like how we can debug this like add any debugger from uh, from here or we can see here three debugger we have added debugging here like uh, whenever we are going to inspect it and in that inspect uh, this, then we can go source and here must be like um, moving this it's a debugger here so whenever we have debugger keyword into the code then it will you know uh, it, it means it has the breaking point like we can see the some debugging like uh, html we can get and we are removing uh, moving one by one here in the list so you can see countries in the mpt like first country is afghanistan then you can see uh, we are going step by step and then you can see uh, the other countries are being populated here you can see which is we can uh, do the debugging uh, easily now uh, we can go to the another step uh, let's see which is the uh, step remaining in the step number six add the listener to the country name like we have uh, to add the uh, listener on country name here whenever i click this country then add something like show something on the in the the alert box So here I have add the uh, function uh, which is uh, the event listener here then we can uh, check the event is working or not and uh, we are going to code whenever I'm testing is event listener is working well so uh, then uh, we have finished with uh, the step number six now uh, step number seven is show the list uh, the country flag when event is clicked so in my uh, the logic i want to whenever uh, someone is clicking send the uh, you know the index of array here we have array is a global uh, declaration we can use this array here inside to the uh, inside this function also so inside the function i need something like this the array and any the index number like index can be zero index can be five index can be ten so in this uh, we can find index from here like any variable i want to uh, use this one whenever someone is uh, sending an uh, index number through this function so this function is calling from here so we have the index here like i is index of uh, the of we can say uh, of any particular uh, the array so here we can pass through uh, this i to this function like this the index is being passed to the index function so you can check this one okay then we have something object in return it means we are getting something so in object i want to show the name of country here the name of country whenever i'm clicking on some country then i want to show uh, see the country here the country name whenever I'm clicking in China China is here and Egypt here is Egypt so now it means we are getting the right uh, uh, you know uh, the index uh, so I want to uh, show the flag of uh, the the country so in this function I have to write my logic uh, here to show the kind of flag of country
okay so in this code you can see that I have uh, the click function sending from the index here then index from index I can get the list itself then uh, the uh, through the list because I'm also unsigning the ID as the ID here then ID after ID I'm creating the new element which is called IMG and I am I'm passing the source from uh, the array which is the country array and then the from country array I'm getting the flag and after that I have the element and appending into the same list let's see the code uh, how does it work and uh, here the country I'm clicking here some uh, the like uh, another country like here the uh, Angulia the country is it itself like we can see uh, the other countries Finland Finland is the flag, uh, flag itself like uh, I'm writing the clicking the Pakistan has the flag and some other countries like uh, Switzerland has the flag and some here the Switzerland is some other country so so guys this is the final like uh, uh, we can see the all the steps are done okay guys this is finished if you like my uh, tutorial please like video also and uh, subscribe our channel uh, i will be glad to reply you in your comments if you have any query bye bye